preach I wise here from my care for my dog. I preach I must care for faith of God. Yes, oh, yes, praise yes, God. Yes, and when that happens from the pulpit to the back to the usher's place Amen. back there, when that happens, you talk about revival. Revival. You talk about the Spirit of God Amen. doing Amen. it. You talk about the Lord coming in. Amen. You get a church that thinks like that and acts like that. And brother, you see God move yeah, like he had to move to the day of Pentecost. I think it's time yeah, we Amen. quit this fooling around Pray and this tainted religion Amen. and begin to understand yeah. that God wants us to get real Amen. with him Amen. and our spirit get real with him Amen. and our concern for one another. Let's get real. Amen. Amen. Say praise God for the man of God. Yeah. Yeah. Always bother Troy and me. I get a hold of Troy and me, you can't let us be out of this place without a song. Praise God. Praise God. I, I know, I know I'm friends on it every time you come. But we don't we want to hear them sing us a song. Amen. Brother, Brother Carlson, that was good preaching. I might say, who believes that gospel? I believe it. Brother, care for one another. And I know Brother Carlson cares for this church. I know he does. He wouldn't be here if he didn't. He has other places he could be. Brother Troy, it's so good to have you and Sister Mia. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Amen. I want to embarrass Brother Lonnie and have Brother Lonnie come over here and help me. He's so willing. This man is the most willing man I know I've ever been. Yes, he is. I've always wanted to sing with Brother Lonnie. Yeah. Ever since I was a little kid, I remember him in a quartet with my dad and a few others. You know, I appreciate the Lord. Appreciate Brother Carlson's words. I remember Brother Carlson from way back. We go back a long way. Now that's true. There, the heart of a man of God has to have a love for God's people, just like Christ's love for us and that shepherd. He has to have a shepherd's heart. Doesn't he? Has to care for the sheep, love the sheep. Come on, brother. Break a leg when he has to. You know, to keep that that sh that sheep in the fold. He also has a little nook on the end of his shepherd's cane where he can bring that sheep back into the fold. He's got a care and a love in his heart that you won't find out out there in the world. You won't find it. You're not going to find it. It's here in the church Amen, amongst God's people, and I appreciate it. God is so good God is to so us good. tonight, isn't he? Yes. Yes. He is so good. He is so good. He's good all the time, isn't he? All the time. Amen. You know, uh, situations in my life at times have, have looked bleak, and the spirit of despair will get upon you, and you think, well, God, why did you do this to me? Yes. And what are you doing in this situation? But you know, like every, like they said out here in Florida, if you don't like the weather, wait five minutes, it'll change. You know, if you wait, wait on God when he said wait, wait, the sun will come out again. God's presence will shine again on you. I just appreciate it. I love you, Brother Lonnie. Lord, I'm going to say he is so good to me.
clouds hang low and I'd like to see them go I ask the question Lord my soul much pain but he knows what's best for me
good to me. I really love that song. I love when Brother Rhodes sings it. Troy and me has such a gentle, like flowing water and a cool brook. Runs down through your spirit and touches you. Praise God. Have you enjoyed the worship tonight? Have you enjoyed the word? I trust you that. Sister Gloria, go to your books out there. I want to, before she gets to the book, I want to read an excerpt here. Uh, I have these books upstairs, and uh, just read you an excerpt. Not just another visitor. Said uh, she's describing a scene when she was caught up in the spirit. I heard a sound from heaven like the sound of mighty rushing waters. I heard the harpists playing their harps until they reached a crescendo which only came from heaven. The music accompanying me was so incredible to hear. I just could not believe that Jesus would come all the way from his throne today to hear my song. I just knew how much the Lord liked roses. That's why I knew he would like my song. Uh, when I finished singing my song, Jesus came to my home. The beautiful rose bouquet and presented it to me. She describes the experience she had with God. I don't endorse all books, but this, these books are books written from a child of God. I thoroughly enjoyed mine. I have both of them. Job, just another visitor. All of us need that visitor. I hope tonight he visits your home. Visits you. Let him come. Have you ever had Jesus visit you like that? I have. He visited me here in this place. Right here. One night alone in the sanctuary. When it was only half the size of it is now. And I was sitting over here crying and weeping because it looked like everything was gone that we had worked for. And a figure came to me right across here, sitting over there. And suddenly I was enveloped in the brightest light I've ever seen. There were experiences we have with God. Do we tell them for others to believe? Not necessarily. Because I don't take votes on whether you believe it or not. Because it happened to me. Happened to me in my experience. And I received. I received that experience. And Jesus came to me. I want your attention right now. Jesus came to me. And when Jesus comes to you, you'll know that Jesus is touching your life. The sweetest moments you ever have is when Jesus just comes right there. And he overcomes everything else. Everything around you, before you, back of you front of you, and he just sweetly speaks to you, and there he is. Praise the name of the Lord. It's just Jesus in you. That's the experience you can have tonight. When you go home, let him go home with you. Let him to speak with you, and let him love you, and let him care for you. Praise God. We've had a wonderful night. We're going to have a great day tomorrow. A water baptismal service tomorrow. Um, anyone who might be in the congregation that is thinking about or considering water baptism, um, you uh, be here tomorrow and uh, let uh, your
conscience guides you in obeying God and being baptized in water. We have two, and they'll be baptized, and there may be others. Praise God. Look forward to a great day tomorrow, a wonderful day in serving the Lord. And may this lesson and these lessons we received tonight go down deep in our spirit, and may the church rise up in these things. Because these things God has given us tonight are from the Lord. Praise God. The pathway of charity, loving one another, caring for each other. That's the greatest thing God can give us and help us with. Look forward to a great day. Rise up with me right now and give the Lord the praise and give him the praise for being together tonight in the house of God. Let's lift our hands together and our hearts together. In the name of Jesus, we give you the praise and we give you the glory and we give you the honor for what you've done for us tonight. And we say in the name of Jesus, we love you, Lord. Go with us, fill our hearts, and let us go home with a shout in our spirit. And everyone said, Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. And everyone said, Praise the Lord. And praise the Lord. Turn to one another and mix and mingle.